Hello, I'm Andrew Lissom, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Thread is getting closer to finding out where there are some people who might be able to help her find her long-lost child. And so far we've had to run away from rad scorpions, kill loads of bandits, and become probably the biggest murderer in the wasteland. Although, you know, for fair reasons. Is this a red rocket? We could use this place. Med X, very nice. Yes, it is. Mr. Handy Fuel. Gas canister. Match registers, but nothing in them. Burnt trade magazines. Rib cages and spines, because of course there are. Stim packs, weapon workbench. Duct tape. Aha! Okay. Weapon workbench. Now we do have... Do we, we don't have a level up? We don't have a level up. Okay. Well, let's see what we can get at the weapon workbench. Righteous Authority. What do you not have? You've got a standard capacitor. You could do an upgrade to here. I have no nuclear materials on me because they're all back at my base. Okay. Maybe we should just continue on then. Oh, that's a shame. Right. Let's look at the map. How close are we? We're pretty close. Oh, maybe a bit more. Oh, so close. A little bit less. We're in. Got it. Show yourself. I'm not going to take a shot on an arm. I will take a shot ahead, though. Waster. Dog, don't, don't. Don't, don't you dare. You idiot. Absolute idiot. You absolute moron. You brought him back to me as well. How nice of you. How did you know that's what I wanted? Ah! Get up! Get out! Ah! 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 They know where I am now. Thank you for that dog. Laser for you. Shotgun guy can't be allowed to get much closer. There we go. Level 10. Lovely. He'd be a lot scared if he had a weapon that wasn't a pistol. Still a guy over there. cul de -sac key. Shotgun stim pack. Glow-sighted light pulp back. Glow-sighted light pipe bolt action pistol. Wow, that's a long one. Leaded, welded, raided chest piece. It's been the one I'm currently wearing, apparently. We'll pick it up, and we'll have a look at it. Like, it sounds really heavy, and of course it is. More anti-radiation, but less on the other ones. And it weighs a ridiculous amount. No, I'm dropping it. Short combat shotgun. Okay, let's look at this new weapon. A combat shotgun. 50 damage. Lower fire rate. Better range. 
much more accurate. A bit more weight. Honestly, that might well be worth it because it's got a magazine. You can fire more shots. These two I definitely want to keep to look at later. I'm going to have to figure out what I can drop to make them uh, make them work. 10 more auto pistol. Um, I don't want that. I've got a 10mm hardened I'm keeping. So we'll drop you. You've got a weight of four. I've got to get rid of another three more. I just need to copiously use grenades or something. Um, okay, we're good. Pocketed, polished. I'll take that. Leaded, shadowed, chess piece. Okay, I'll take that as well. Those seems like they might be pretty useful. Leaded, it makes it weigh a lot, but it's actually better than my armor by quite a way. Everything is better than my armor. And the polished one, better than my current one. I'm still over my limit, and my limit's actually gone down because I dropped something that's pocketed. I think it was my like, chess piece or something. Um, but I, I can I can live with that, right? What I just got is so really good that I will live with it. We're good. And I'm carrying too much. Um... Just drop three of those. That'll give us enough to be able to work with. Raider Psycho. No, nothing in the fridge. Which is a shame, frankly. Harry Potter's under the stairs area there. Nothing up here? Ooh, there we go. Rounds, and no, nothing nothing really up here, which is a bit of a shame. Ooh, 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 there we go. 50 cal, shotgun, buff out, comfy pillow? Almost tempting to take that. We'll head downstairs, and I think, other than finding the leader dude, because the leader dude uh, died somewhere over here, he might actually have stuff on him. Pipe, auto pistol. No. Oh, he had the good armor. That's the one we picked up, right? Yeah, we picked his armor up. That was the stuff. We want to go west, so I want to come out of this door, I think. Or is it north? I don't know. Where are we right now? More north. It's very grey right now. The frame rate, 50 when I look that way, 60 other ways. Hmm. Not great. I was just making sure it wasn't a ghoul. That's a legendary raider. And this is, of course, a dead end. Of course it is. Huh? Okay, wait, quick, 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 quick. Inventory. Weapons. Fragmentation grenade. Hi, dog. There was a dog coming for me. Luna, you better be worth it. <laughs> oh god, wow. Tough. Really tough. What have we what have we started here? Sweet roll. Sweet roll. What else can we eat? We're starting to run out of provisions. This is a pretty long one. Did that work? That's not the legendary raider. The legendary raider might still be out there. Legendary raider! That's enhanced Raider right leg. 10% redu reduction in action point cost in Vats. Uh, yeah? Rounds. Muzzled, hardened, pipe, auto pistol. No. 
turpentine, lightweight enameled. I might take that because I don't know if it's good. Cushion girdled, right leather. I'll take that as well. Got to say, good use of uh, exploding cars there. Good use of exploding cars. Apparel. Let's have a look. Worse. Same. So drop them. And this is worse, but it gives me vats. I won't put it on yet. I will put it on when we get back to base, though. Because then I can, like, alter it to have pockets and stuff. Right. Now, if we go north as soon as possible, we should be able to get to our target. I can't see any bodies strung up. They might be friendly. Welcome. Okay, the first person's actually had a welcome you sign up rather than a I will murder you sign. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I have a gun named after I you. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's I really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You. You want into Diamond City, right? Okay. I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Well, that was really easy. <sighs> Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Oh, first, first, first. I put on my sequin dress. And now I can't carry anything. Let me just drop something. I definitely want to be wearing my sequin dress. No comment. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Too Sullivan late. to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped Ooh, for parts. That a statement, Mr. McDonough. Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public Occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look it's like a, Diamond a, City a, material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. 
A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Sequin dress. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. Excellent. Nick Valentine. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons? I've had enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Certainly seems like a lovely place. Well, let's uh, let's make ourselves a bit more uh, a bit more respectable. Let's just get some better lighting. There we go. Don't we look a picture of sophistication? I've been Eric listening. If you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. We are right at Diamond City. It's time to talk to Nick Valentine. But until next time, stay shiny.